Alright, here we go. Hello, Punji here. Got a bit of a different video of time to tell of, uh, I'm on screen. The King of Uh, I thought, an idea I thought would be interesting. I wanted to do a tier kind of video. And I thought it'd be interesting to do something a bit different. The King of one, again. And I wanted to maybe do one that's ranking them normally, but I had a more fun idea that I've done before, but I thought it'd be fun to do, not on this video for all my own, five fun to do again. Let me make it because it got lost, I think. But I'm thinking ranking the Goofbump book, not by the quality, but by how much I think about them, how much bang facing in my head at any given moment. You know, do they barely get to me, or which one, which one barely get to which one am I always thinking of? Go with tears are created. It lives in my head rent free, basically being like only go my mind when I'm thinking about this book anyway, all the time. And I actively analyze it a lot in how the world works, characters, and whatever. In a color vein, we have live rent free, even though I acted to even though I acted to leave, which is like it get my head rent free we could go bad. Like there's so many problems or I uh, reference make fun of it. I think about it because it's bad, not because the line can be told a bit, because it's not like everyone in the country is like the best book, but it's one that I think about a lot. You can for good reason. Like, to all one can, the well, first one will be one I like, the second one will be, uh, be mine, but it's so much to think about. So, while we are quickly like bad to mediocre ones, uh, think about pretty often, think about sometime, uh, depending on the day, it's like, really only a few are going here, but it's like, Pentagon, my Pentagon, like, sometimes we'll be kind of element, I do think about it for a bit, but the rest of it will be like, you know, go, Vicka for one I'm like unsure about, you know, it will depend on the day. And then, wait, Vicka again? But two, I probably think about it, and I think they're going to be one or two over oh, here. Yeah, I think the others might have enough. A lot of it can get fluent from time by TV, I'm going to contact by how other people are talking about them. But with that, again, you'll pick up as I go. What can fool by what? Go we'll try to do. Go, we'll go in the alphabetical like, order or whatever. Go a Knight and Terror Tower. Alright. Um, definitely want to think about fairly often. This is not one I read until after coming up code, and the episode I feel like had it better. It had more to it. But I really like the book. Um, hmm. I'm sure we definitely want to be too. Because I don't. It's not rent free. Does it go? go? I'm debating whether it's very often or sometimes. It really, it's not a problem, it's not that, like, a, that, you know, you'll see where the line will get there. I'm not really sure. Um, I, well, I would put some time, just because it's not one I actively analyze. That could be part of it. I have to actively analyze it when it does pop up in my head. Oh, yeah. Because it's pretty interesting. It's just not super complicated or deep. Yeah, but there's some theme in it, certainly, but I'm like, not in a way that I think about a lot. So I think it's a pretty fair place to put it. Yeah, maybe if I, maybe if I get my top 10, it would be higher, but I think it's not. It's not quite good, but not top 10. Really. Shotgun Shark Tree, alright. Mm. Mm, I don't like this one that much, but not too, like, I want to leave it dent. Um. This one could go there, because this one has a really interesting twist ending that I'm not crazy about, but it's interesting in the application. Bring out questions of AI and that, and I feel like as time goes on, I think more about that twist and how it goes. But actually, when I'm the character and the like, story, it's kind of whatever for me. But I think we're still a few fun bits. So it would be one I like, remember and just kind of represent to me as one of those broken and Rammer shit in their book. And I think about in that context, we're good, like, actually, you know, but then I think Doug added a bit more, so I feel like, depending on the day, if you twist, there's like a few bit more twist, go many things I think about, but outside of that context, about the twist that not get, I'd probably be in the come time, or not wait that can get because of what cover is so memorable and the appear of the movie. Um, I like the upcoming one as one, well, and I feel like that one I took about a bit more than. Yeah, I think I could put it. Attack with Jack-O-Lantern. Um, 
it's probably a good time. I feel like it got interesting to it as well, but not like and book changing a come of the oven. Bit gonna roll a bit, I'm kind of. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty fun. I don't think about the flaw, because it doesn't have some iffy part, if you know, you know. And it got some fun stuff with the alien go, and it's fairly memorable. Like, maybe, but I get pretty often, I get one I think about a lot, like one that I reference a lot at part with. I'm not playing the Pango today because I don't think it's bad extreme. No, current aspect, I forgot pretty often. Especially the more problematic part, both parts think about pretty often, but may not always control itself. It's toe the line, but I think sometimes it's like the upper crust. It's not gonna be in particular order, whatever. But okay, that's more to tower, but yeah. Definitely gonna be up with more of a thing of it, for sure, but I think of where it goes for me. Attack of the Mutant. Uh, I kinda. Hmm. Def. I don't know. I feel like it could go here. I get so fat line. I got a lot of junk stuff to it. Especially now with the comic book stuff. And there come Jamie really drink bean. Like, if I'm not, Thorburn touched on the idea of escapism and Doug be the kind of rot your brain sometimes. You know? And well, I, you know, well, Kipper himself, a memorable character because he had an attitude that not as well. And, uh, it got a cool villain, a colorful theme and moment. Definitely one you could analyze and figure out. But get head right free. It's a cloak, but, um, in a cloak, it's definitely one like, up there for memorability and the idea within it. You know, but, um, but at the same time, I feel like I have a different bow for one that I also have, like, a bit more reflection for. I like this one, but it's not one I'm in love with. So, uh, yeah, I think pretty often pretty good, but, but it may cut it to change down the line. Bad hair day. Hmm. It's not bad, but it get, like, pretty bad. But it get in the camp. Like, does it go here? I don't think I don't think about that much. Maybe it's thick. Not quite dependent on the day because it reasonably often, but not pretty often. I feel like it's a book right can I do forget about? And then, that's just because it's kind of a nothing burger of a story. But that's a funny part. And a few things that get referenced plenty. So I definitely have certain elements. But at the same time, it's not more memorable for the epicode story. I could do, might do one just for the epicode. The epicode and head rest free. <laughs> Um, the book though, got a moment, and it definitely when I, when I think about a floppy bad story, yes, but not as much sort of what happened in it. I think it's fair to put it here. I look at that quality, jumping around. Be careful what you wish for. <sighs> hmm, pretty often. More than some time, because it, because it got a lot of their moments. Command for Burn, how I took Clutchy and Judith being the alphabet, Kulika being delightful. Some good writing, some weird logic in terms of the wishing, a uh, very bad middle portion, and a lot of fun for that, for Judith, gay for her, <laughs> and uh, kind of a, a bad, but, like, memorable ending. Took a lot of things the book gives you, and they're going to work, but I like it. Go. So, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable putting it there. <laughs> it got a lot of like, it's like a weird book in front of the tone and like the structure of it, but I feel like one that definitely popped up a lot. Shout out to Bobby Beware. Beware no man. Um. Hmm. Think I had to freak again? Definitely up there. Um, fuck why did fuck I'm talking? Because this one a lot to remember, like off the bat. I have a few boring sections, and I think that what might hold it down a little bit. Cause I have a few times where I'm like, wait, what happened? I can go a few times where I didn't play together, but it's very memorable. Like, a weirdly bad book, because it's dark with Jacqueline, Jacqueline, whatever. And her mom and dad, dad, come where? She looked over her aunt, and then they moved to Archer Gurkle. And then you find out 
a backstory involving fork work, and then that tied into her parents, and then you have a snowman who might have tied all of this, and you got a twist with a guy named Conrad. There's like a lot, book is a lot to handle. And it's sort of an organized mess in that it got a lot of weird part to it that kind of like are got up and well done. It's not about to get talked about a lot because it's seen as sort of middling, but I think it's pretty good. And I do think it's one I think about a lot because it's the idea of the magic involved within it. I feel like if it had a little more wacky memorable moment, which doesn't quite have, it would be head rent free. It is close. Definitely. Like Tag Mew, it is close. It may all change my mind, but I can't help it. And the fact that other people don't bring up much of what kind of hurt as well. Okay, it's confused sometimes by how much other people bring it up. Do other people, I know some people who are skeptical of being fat, calls me to bump it up to come back to Go back. But calling all creep. Head went free. Like, uh, come on. Uh, I love the one. Th that part of it, but all part of it, a good book, magic, a lot of kind of an interesting angle in a lot of ways, like at the protagonist kind of being forced to team up with the villain in order to make the overtrain of him because they think he's a leader. It got a very pathetic protagonist to everyone hates him and every character is memorable to an extent. And it got some interesting conspiracy vibes, but it also had a, well, a great twist ending that flipped the script on what the story even really is. And I feel like the story did a good job of planting both needs. And you go, oh, you get up from the game, what story gonna go there? Well, a lot of interesting thematic theme to figure out. It had that, you know, going to the dark guide kind of element. Like, he had to infiltrate them. Maybe not, you know, he got into a relationship with Ira. Uh, you know, and it's not like he intentionally got trained, which I got there. And I feel like the twist ending pushed it. Without twist, it might be more the often or sometime, but the twist informs so much about the story and it gives you a lot of ideas for kick and fan fiction and that's why I get a head run free for sure. Uh chicken chicken shout out to Bugby Boy again. <laughs> mm, pretty often I feel like that pretty fair. I I don't it's not bad I, I don't think it's that bad. I reread it. Uh, it might get a review at some point. Good. Um back when I mean I wanted for a few I wanna do. Um, but I don't think like it enough to put it in back to leave. But I definitely want a lot to think about. Again, especially with reputation and how I really informed it for really goofy vegan. And you know, and you have a cool farm getting. You got Veneca, a witch wig, and what she into. <laughs> not like that, but maybe. Um, the transformation, the body horror, it's not, it could pretty simplistic to the point book, and ordinarily, this one gets it pretty often, but it's got a little moment, and I do have a twist in the reputation. If it's the reputation it had, it might be lower, honestly, you know. The ending would definitely, yeah, I probably would put an upper-ish sometimes without the reputation, but with it, it got it pretty often, so. It got a few things, like, again, the, the ending, and the NECA, it's just a weird book all around on the one. Deep Trouble, Deep Trouble, hmm. Hmm, pretty good, but the one that cropped up a lot, but in the general can't yeah. Because I'm gonna go back by boiler about frickin' mermaids, and because of that you remember it, but yeah, if it advertised correctly, would you like remember it a lot? I wouldn't go that far. Billy is a very memorable protagonist. Um, I find the plot to be pretty cute, honestly, with him and the mermaid. Rick the contention, a fine villain, but it's not. Yeah, it's just not super wacky or anything. It's not, it got a view to it, honestly, but not super deep. And I just can't, but feel like it would need a bit more to it. It took a while. I know everyone's brain is different. Some people talk to really head rent free for the entire thing. With me, it's just part of it. Go. I think come time, give where it go. In terms of how much I think about it, how memorable it ultimately is. Deep Trouble 2. Um. Mm, I mean, I'm not sure. Probably about the game. Think about it a bit less because it, uh, because it's goofy and it'll work. It kind of got moments though. I kind of enjoy it ironically. But uh, it got probably one of the worst villains and one of the dumbest, but not in the way I think about it a lot. 
This one's not good, not in the way it comes to my mind that often, but at the same time, you know, I feel like there's a good fundamental thing to it. I might put that different on. The first one is better, but I can't believe availability. Hmm, I don't want to, man, I don't know, I don't think it's over Blonde Kleiner. I think this one might be depending on the day, but I don't think anything hugely or nothing that, but I feel like the book, it's not like a big thing in it, you know? But I do think, but it took a, I think I'm, I think I'm in a package deal kind of way, go. So I feel like that's pretty fair. Alright, don't go to sleep. I mean, I'm tempted to put the look here to be epigoding head rent free, but not they go by, don't think I'll be epigoding. Uh, uh, but I'm, I'm joking. I don't think I'm accommodating to go by. I think every day. <laughs> but uh, I don't think the book will be low, but I would gay pretty often because they got throw a random shit in their book and I live for them because they're so memorable and it's a multiverse story but four were cool or I beat them to punch on that one and it got a lot of memorable like weird and gas but got up it got a lot of memorable older universe thing they have a reality police who cool, just have they call a big disruption in terms of a goofberg and how it operates and I feel like that alone makes the book very memorable maybe it's not the best story maybe it's not good or memorable or cool enough in but I just can't think about a lot because of how weird it gets with a rally pink or the memorable villain. And like, uh, wait, hold on, let me pause. No, I actually gotta pause to the conference. I probably shouldn't even comment on that go to game with, but hey, charming. You know, I got good. Uh, Egg Monster from Mars. I kinda don't want to get anything more, but, um, I get caught playing my golf. Um, the one, it should go to the day because, you know, it, it, you know, like a bank of story, you know, with kid and, and an egg monster and a kind of, eventually. It's not that eventful, but it's definitely memorable because of how different it is. You know, like about a kind of, not egg monster, they're a guide thing. But it got to a little thing, like the opening of the egg hunt, looking with him in a freezer, but the ending. I'm not gonna spoil it here, but oh boy, fan ending. I, I think about it a lot. The implications, what it means for the story, and what it could it mean for Dan going forward. I can't not put it in Head Red Free. Without it, it'd probably be more scum time. But with it, yeah, back all I'm gonna get. Okay. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you talk to me before, you might know <laughs> how I feel. <laughs> Uh, Goat Beach. Yeah, that can get, wait, that can get, Goat Beach. Uh, it, it, it's a good book, I think it got, I think an atmosphere to it, but it's go forgettable, like, everything about it has been done better in other books before, again, it's hard to get referenced in other media, covering Occam, I love that, and we get what Goat I feel the name about, for the most part, it's just nothing about but would stick out to me, not nothing about the quality. Good, I think it's better than a bit better than average for Google, honestly. But it's just go forgettable. There's nothing that stand out personally. You know, you know. If I read it again, I probably will forget I read it. Go, yeah. Goat camp. Definitely pretty awesome. Um, actually, I can't. I don't know, but this one, yeah, it gets pretty often because it go atmospheric and it go creepy and the rule of far kind of thing work and it can be better I'm comfortable in a good way, but it gets intense. Um, uh, maybe if you take that, I find the character, the protagonist to be pretty boring. Uh, but I like his brother and I like the villain. And there's a lot of the disturbing moments. I think about Dark is pointing out there. That's why it gets up there. Because I think about how creepy it is. Like, well, the camp and the color culture. It's not a memorable camp book. We'll get to one I think about more as we go. But I definitely feel like the one gets up there. It's borderline. But it got a lot of different moments. And I think that's what helped get. You know, at least for me. Um, okay, go eat worms. Took a bit, but the went free, you know, actually, the, the book got, I don't think it got, uh, maybe, there are some people who like it, I know a few, I don't get it, but, um, <laughs> um, but it's one that, go, 
it won a weird book, it was boring, probably a boring book that I get. But if you go memorable because of Todd and how he is a budding serial killer who cuck up more and make a lot of people around your camp but feel like constantly about Todd and his weirdness. I don't even think a guy can say he could have been, but I can't feel like that. And I do think a lot weird enough about how the book gets a non story. Nothing happened, nothing consequential, nothing built on anything. You know, if I review a book, I'll go into detail on that. But and I do think that I'll go. It's book by both floppy and boring, which are two things that tend to not go to be together. Good book, book or even floppy or boring, you mean both. But here, <laughs> it, it got a creaky ending, but you think about the implication of it. Um, the book box cool fan art from Golden Eye Ho. Go. That one can't bring all the white book got in here without without her I'd be like, I don't know. But because of them, they go here. <laughs> How I got a shrunken head. Hmm. Yeah, upper come time. I wish I rather like the one. It pretty got fun jungle venture, got jungle magic, which is a cool idea. As well a good structure, got the payoff, but I don't figure out hugely. I don't analyze it deeply. Mark alright. I like his jungle discussion. I like the ending. I think the ending gives me idea, but nothing deep. Think on the cup. The cloak by camp, I feel like it doesn't pop up my head much. It probably should, but that's a guy I would have. Love the, you know, yeah, I love on the cover of Fink Banner and University. I think that's great. I forgot that a lot. Definitely, Luke and Mary Pretty. How to Learn to Fly, the book. I love the book. It's a very different story. It's about fame and the peril of it. Um, it's not goof bumpy really at all. Like I made a couple moments. And I think about a lot because it's so charming. It book I read a lot back in the day and I feel like that informed it. It's not a big part for a few weeks obviously. But it's kind of like Lobo. You look about little and boring. It's just interesting like when you get all these false start when you're trying to show off in power. No, oh, it's a love like the fat red mom welcome to work super <laughs> good basically a lot of you know, the birthday party a lot of uh, and as well as everything in the back half we even get famous and deal with that and then there's the relationship with Mia there's Wilkin there's the hot dog game if you know you know and well a very nice with that thing where everything worked out it's a good book that uh, maybe if I didn't have a nostalgia Maybe if, or if it was a book book, it probably would be more in the, sometime, pretty often. Maybe pretty often regardless, because I'm different in it. For a couple people, I make it forgettable, because we're not much to compare to, but the couple of themes that recur in the community that are in here, here and there, you know, especially with the bully character, the block character, like that. Go, I think, it, you look my head free. Very memorable, fun book. How to Kill a Monster, sometime. So I got to go over it. It's a good book, though. It, uh, I think got a lot of intent action. Got the best, worst grandparent in all of it. And got a very memorable dark ending. Good character. Just nothing to jump out at me. It kept going straight forward to the point. The grandparent, or one on it, and I think the book was close to Pentagon the day. But I can't but feel like it puck me a bit off of a good love. I'm kind of that. But not hugely, go. It's borderline between the coming of the day, honestly, but I think sometimes. I'm not using that one that often, but I created it just for like a few plot books ago. I live in your basement. Look, my head rent free. Uh, I, I could do like a fucking three hour video essay on the book <laughs> if I could. <laughs> and without giving it away, it's very memorable because it's about dream. And give Martin and Cube to the cop all the memorable scenario where every moment in the book is jam packed, it gets go started immediately. A dark of a kid getting bonked on the head, they fall and they go from there. You got weird doctor, you got, you know, all work of like body horror and Keith, my boy Keith, and how he got a creepy weird dragon. And how the poor keep escalating, get psychological, where you question what is real, what again, then you get the ending, which turns the story upside down in a very interesting way. But go with the ally. And you got Marco's mom, who is overprotective. There's just so much packed into the book. I, I forget the meaning how much 
make we did it one book and I feel like that might live my heaven the book of all <laughs> maybe uh, we won't go far is very late definitely go <laughs> don't forget that it came from the, the kink my book uh, Bungie you can even plunge pretty often and that because it is called it is an evil punch book but it's very violent and it got interesting lore Rock Knight Creek of Creation like a bad luck charm and I find that to be memorable for that maybe not a bunch of a plot which is a little gloppy and cat fine there dang it but the way the bunch are defeated the what book about I feel like if the one got bunch it wouldn't have that gimmick it might not occupy but when you compare it to what Comp Cat versus what actually is, it have won that pop up a fair bit. Go. Not much from Coming to Govern, but I kept feel like I think about it quite a bit because of the idea of it. Well, the Epic got the Epic got pretty good too. Take a night, Bungie. The best line of the show. <laughs> Go, yeah, not a lot more gay on that one, honestly. But very violent. Legend of the Lock Legend. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. It is a bad book, but I don't want to put it in there because I do forget about it at the time. I'll put it back on the day because it is wacky and mental. Got cool, ever boring. Not a lot really happening going down to it. And it's not cool, he can. They're not deeper themes you can. A book has no deeper themes, but you can't like really fill in the blank if you want. You can't look one. Any idea the book could have had, it get cloaked to a few ideas, but fall short. Go in and up feeling the point look and not a book you even want to think about because it's not like it's a weird book. A book of Kimbler one in here. Actually. Yeah, a book of Kimbler one that coming up that I forgot way more and I'll talk about the time come. It got memorable, fun stuff, Ivana memorable. It depends on what it sometimes come like the books go weird but every time I'm like kinda of dull though. Go. If one says something about more, it kind of damning. I don't think about him. <laughs> you know, I'll find it. I forget very often. Go. Let get lookable. Mm, sometime. Uh, book kind of boring, but it all go well written and has a lot of a payoff. In a go creepy moment, kind of drug metaphor. Like it could feel like it very but Jack a no to turning it lookable. <laughs> and I feel like that makes it like well the mirror world creepy. I mean, a pretty good to it then, then. And left you go find a memorable character. <laughs> kind of annoying, fun go. I think for some people, it would go in the way you can get, because it's not go for like passion pad, but I can but feel like it popped my head ridiculously enough. It's not usually go, but it's there. I feel like it might be a book code. Um, Monster Blood. Alright. All Monster Blood gum. I'm gonna do them all at one time. We're not all going to want to because Monster Blood is definitely pretty often, for sure. But I'm um, I'm just gonna put uh, two, three, and four. Live my head up free, even for act to leave. The the kick ones are all terrible. The first one's all right. Um, just, oh, watch Monster Blood, but look better. Just, they're very weird and quirky. Cause there's a lot of, even I've got a cotton giant hamster, giant kid, glug people with blow job lips. <laughs> you got a lot of moments in between that. But you also got the fact that every character is terrible, every whiny, and then Andy is awesome because she got bright colors, she got funky, energetic, but over the course of getting she becomes a toxic influence. Kermit, dorky, like giant, and good jerk, Conan, a bully, trigger of a dog, cool. Evan good with sugar. You know, and you got a villain and got about the first one who invented the Monster Blood but completely forgotten about. The plot are all mad for character and girl dark and terrible. And very little continuity involved in the character. The story are nothing happens go often. Like Monster Blood two for four V come up a lot of problems you can have and they're all just really bad. Monster Blood Four is an abomination. <laughs> I think you're gonna cry to wet to when you end up one. If he did, if you had time to read before. <laughs> Dicky, come on. But, um, I, well, I think I'll go often. Maybe Lola go free, but it interested with Kermit. And, man, just go terrible. The fuck one let go, okay. But it got a lot of, like, 
is a damn geek war of might going to come time. Could get wacky and memorable, but maybe not to an immediate then. But because getting attached to the other, I have to be pretty often in the camp. They have to go bad, but just go much the memorable. And again, stuff I enjoy, like ironically, they kind of go bad a good at times. Go if camp, feel like I think about them a lot. And while the problem with the game kind of start around Dr. Blood, like, they talk to occur around them, go. That's why they don't go memorable. My best friend in Invincible, the number one, I actually did a mobile word. It is like a generic plot, but it's done in such a dumb way. Like every, every character is bad, the guy from maybe the protagonist, because they're so annoying. Everyone to kind of over the top react to everything. And that makes the plot too hard to get into because it's just a little tension until maybe the end. Um, it has a pretty terrible twist ending because it doesn't make it try to fool you by ignoring all objects. It doesn't make any sense. It contradicts a multiple times. Again, all the characters are bad. Maybe if I bought the book better, it'd be sometime because it's not. It comes up a lot of problems. Jack up the blood because it got a fine premise, but dug it, you like it well, and then get very really, well, generic and really annoying. This is just a book that pushed my purple button, but I got what I think about a lot. That's the logical the ending is, and it more than that. It can bother me for so long, and I can't think about a lot. It's like borderline a little bit, but I don't like that it goes really in red free. Go back. My Harriet the Bencher, the epic to head rent free for sure, but the book? Depending on the day. Because I do feel like the main bulk is boring. I'm kidding. It can keep growing hair, but not a lot to it. And like a few quirky fun bits in there, but nothing huge. Go, oh, the most part I put some time, because I'm going to odd enough to where I'm like, yeah, I think about it. But then comes the twist ending, which got to be one of the cringy and weird ones. I'm gonna go out there and I think about that a lot. And the implication and like what would mean for the past and the future. Um and how to handle it. And it's so memorable, but the book is so dull and uneventful until then. Go back why I created the category for the book. Yeah. But like I get the upcode and rent free for sure. Harry Larry, Harry had hair in mind. Um, the Dummy Book, Night of the Living Dummy. Alright. Pretty often for the first book, um, that because it kind of went back. I really had fear that the wood good, but the characters are annoying, and I feel like Lindy, there's like a mid book twist that had make Lindy, one character, really unlikable, and they don't really fix that. Introduce a Clappy, who barely in it, but the twist ending great. And I think good at fear a few memorable moments. Go, I feel like it could go pretty quickly. If it didn't have to keep going, I'm not quite sure. But I feel like it could go pretty quickly here because of power contract with the other value book. Go, I feel like it could go pretty quickly in here. And it got a good bit of uh, like a construction guy or something, which I think is pretty funny. Go, yeah, that could go. Night of M W two. That red three. I think it's cool. I'll admit that, but it's a ecstatic one and one of my favorites to go at why. But very charming. I feel like the no fun will get nailed here. Like we hash but it improved it quite a bit. Amy and her family dynamic gets go different with the family sharing night we do. And it got Jamie Catwell where Amy is the middle child. And over the course of the story she kind of wanted to get to that and he got sister had her own problem, you know, she can't make fun of her for being kind of, you know, potential sometimes. And I do think it's weird that character development and interesting dynamic with family in the community. And got a good psychological element. Flappy is not threatening here, but a good psychological threat, I feel like. And I feel like the book dug a lot with that. It dug a lot of a little, essentially. And it very memorable. Got a lot of like, little moments. A couple of books are kind of warm it down to a warm, like, there's just big little moment I remember that I don't. I think that helped. If I got a little moment I remember, then it's gonna go higher in a book, like, Conventional role moment, I don't remember. For the most part. Go ahead and wear Dummy 2, go Dummy 3, come time. Well, alright, the book become pretty divisive in the community, and um, I'm in one decor corner where we can't end up making fun of a lot of people 
who a couple people who have like the favorite and kind of fun a bit with Barry Freeman and I feel like but in terms of the story it goes it's just alright it got multiple dummies going cool <laughs> um but got game got interesting dynamic but I think Book of Book League can have an alright rehash but it had a good moment it come close to working but not quite the ending kind of clappy I think about it in terms of you know, check the Thorn Gulf off and go out deeply right off. I'm come close, I will admit that. But I feel like the Thorn Gulf, not a better moment being the closer writing the book and how people feel about it. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> there are people who actually love it the most, but I think real intellectual think of mid. So there you go. It's like, okay. But that clappy for you. Uh, One Day or Horland, definitely pretty off the knot. Head rent free. That because it's not, I don't know, protocol cast into the story. I think a pretty cool idea. I'm in the middle of reviewing Return of Land. That'll probably get a book review, uh, maybe this week. But, um, go with that guy that goes. The, uh, well, what, the concept in the culture about horror and horror go cool to me. And I definitely feel like that helped get a lot. <laughs> and I do feel a lot of little moments throughout the book. Got a good protagonist, good got the payoff. It definitely not the strongest to talk about Dr. at time. But I feel like a lot. I think the story itself, I feel like I have a few more interesting twists to it here and there. Made the character look a little better. I feel like a close to Henry Free. And I do feel like a close to that in terms of Vic and where the Gary Target get goofier. And I do think it referenced a lot. It had a whole Gary, it was one that close. It's just perkling out. I think about it pretty often. It's just not mad constantly. It's not above like all of the. Maybe because I'm not attached to the character, that could be it. Yeah, nor people I know don't get attached to the character, but that's probably a big factor. I think for me. Phantom of the Auditorium. Um. Hmm. Come time. It was one that quite good. And I do think it's charming, um, it's a fun take on the kind of plot. It's unique for Goop Bump, particularly where it got balanced and good natural and not good natural stuff. But it's also kind of a standard story. It's charming, I like the character and their interaction. I really enjoy the musical. The Goop Bump musical of the book and Kong are really good. I quite enjoy that. The episode is pretty good too. It's just the, the book called Clear Cut and Dry. Now, I don't feel like much left to analyze. I think the book got everything you need to, and then it just be, it make you go, I'm kind of fine, I don't need to, it's like a good meal that you don't think about because it's just good. I don't think a book just good, and that's all you can say. That's why it's not pretty often. The big cool I do, I look at Hong a lot, but I'm not kind of that. It's alright. Piano like and can be murder. Live with my head of it free. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Maybe not when I rated like old try, but it, it's a very creepy story. It's a great job building at fear. It's wacky and memorable. Bad why I think about it a lot. <laughs> Maybe I don't talk about it a lot, but it's all I come on my mind. <laughs> like, Jerry a fun character, but it got Dr. Shriek, who had the Apple Code, and played by Aaron Tanger, aka Dr. Vink. Dr. Shriek is so memorable and charming. And Mr. Toggle, the villain, is one of the most messed up in the scary. The book is dark. It get gory, it get bloody. It got very memorable scare. It got creepy implications. And I think that most of the book is memorable in a basic creepy ghost story kind of way. But when you get to that shriek and then the ending, it propels it. Especially the ending. So, I think the book can be borderline in terms of the plot. But as far as the implication and how it came out, I can't help but put it in the pen rent free. Beautiful hand. I just made the video for Rinkin. You know. They can head rent free, for sure. Um Kirk and Lummy Toon. Return my Gucky Goko. Uh hmm. I'm not playing it for now. Um not sure. That book mid. I feel like it got a good atmosphere. Gabe got scarring okay. Uh, what book of book kind of like kind of interesting to look at it, but kind of dull until you get for that where the villain is much like a piano, very memorable, 
but not really. I think the nature of him is more memorable than the character. The fact that he go dark. I mean, it does get messed up. But it got kind of a boring, not a lot happened kind of book. And I think that that kind of hurt the memorability factor. But one really memorable element. Go, you know, depending on the day. I feel like that's where I'm putting it. Because memorable bad, and the nature of it pretty memorable. But the story, not really. But Gabe, the character who I think mentioned a fair bit on the internet in a bad way. Go, I do feel like I'm pretty fair and put it here. Return of the Mummy. Mm, come time. Um, Neil uh, is a cool villain, definitely. The book got a better rehash because it took a stronger, it had better painting, gave better. I think that cool. But it's not special, man. Well, it's nothing special. It's nothing great. Um, we twist the ending cool <laughs> with the implication, I think about that. Kind of, and it, I got equal continuity bad because it's a forget thing and contradict thing. That memorable. The book called, I think about it time because I think it. Koru the mummy is a lot in the marketing and I think that helped get but it's alright. I think about it. I can't think about it out. Exactly the first one out of the bit or anything I'll go. But that where to go. Regimental Law Known uh, I don't like it. And I think that doesn't help. Um I kinda of tempted, I feel like. But if Return of Mummy, yep, I'm going to feel the same way I just get, uh, since there. But, um, I like to put out this one. Mr. Lalonda is a very mediocre book. The protagonist is not very likable, well, not a lot happened. Get the game structure of a deli book, but without, but Lalonda is not threatening or particularly charming. I've got a few moments. It got a thing in the background with the dad and the neighbor and having rivalry. That was very fun. Very rivalry and entertaining to read, but. It got a funny ending for the long reading and it go dumb. But it took kind of a mediocre, dull, forgettable book that it helped by the villain being kind of interesting at time and a cool thing in the background. And I thought uh, I might want to pay the of the day for one to me. I don't know if to become. I do think about a lot when I think about how he book the book. Like a lot of little problems are common, feeling that stack up. Book a lot being a terrible thing, and I can't feel like memorable for that. Like, well, the episode, and how long them do reappear, like, in the movie, where they had much cooler. I have a think of that help. Go, plan on the day. I'm tempted to put in the weight looking good, but from Matt got good book reference a lot, that help. Go, come close to this, but I feel like, back on the day, and I do think a few of can throw my line. Like the Invisible, and I'll come after, or one for that, and well, Phantom, but I feel like you go fairly into them. Go back at Gay Cheek and Die. Okay, let's we'll get Gay Cheek and Die get out of the way. Uh, Head Free, you know, that's the book is terrible. It's not even like funny, bad, it's making me up again. A lot of fat shaming. Reagan, the dumb kid, what birth. It got a cool bit of war, and I feel like a book memorable because it's so fat, good, and terrible. But like, it just go bad. It just go anger nuking. I hate that, that book. It gets in the beginning. It gets effectively bad. And I think that's why I didn't think about so much because I didn't. I have to because it's just that bad. Gaching Nye, alright though. I like it. Um, but good quality though. But that playing a part. Come back. A normal moment. Not the great and tight story, I'll admit. But I do enjoy the comedy. Character in a glove. Moment that you remember. Some goofy moment, some very scary moment. It got an interesting villain, I feel like. We wouldn't get that much villain. It got kind of a fun ending. It got an okay story with a handful of memorable moments that do stick with me. And I think that a good example of how Book of Twilight line to being kind of there and memorable. Um, definitely getting into the pamphlet on Goop Pumpkin Pop a lot, but I do think it's different for me thinking about it. You know? Book can be brought up, and I'm like, yeah, that was alright. And I'm like, man, remember this part and that part? Go back. Day out of the basement. Uh, Lick my head, rent free. I will be doing a video if you want in the coming week. Not like Gooper, but back to that one. But um, it won't be kind of going to it. Very got the book, and because of that, without her, it would be in the. Book would be around here, maybe. It definitely go kind of book and it's creepy and it's memorable. Got 
an interesting family dynamic where kind of more being afraid of like a parental figure. Yeah, definitely wanted to get a hit hard for some people. And because of that, it got cool body horror, it got evil plant, like a fun idea. A bit of a dullness and part of it, but it got burnt the memorability can add. And of course, there's the possible game metaphor. I'm not gonna get into it here, but uh, I think that caused a lot of people me to think about for a lot in terms of how viewing the story through that lens, you know, through that gay lens, and then Dr. Brewer a really fackety individual. He, him and the plant clover, I think there's a lot of, it, it, the story itself might be a little meandering at times, but there's so much you can remember from it on a deeper level, and I'll be going to you know, go to analyze it a lot. Because of that, without that, I might put in the film time, or make pretty often, because it's what I think highly of. It got metal moment, especially in the episode, I think. Uh, but because of that, I'm pretty kind of, I definitely think it's going in. We're going to that one. Because we got beef and got bumped in a packet, and uh, pretty often, the good is not good. Um, but it's just the med. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's good. It's not a terrible one we got in one, but man, it dropped the ball. It, it just got, got a cool idea, the snowman, in them at boring the Arctic, you know, like uh, that cool and creepy. But it goes off the deep end, I'm talking about going go different and dumb, that I can't think about it, because it got way to potential. It go weird. You know, it, the park and the mill are just kind of there, but I just can't feel like it done to on a bike course, maybe not it took a bike in a lot, but just because it popped pop on my head and way too much control. So, borderline, but I gotta go ahead and put it there. Then it'll probably belong to you. Uh, yeah. The Barking Goat, all time favorite book. He yeah, ate book one. And I figured the book honestly got heck weird. I figured it'd be good today because the book got kind of boring for half of it. It didn't just goat dog. Appearing, appearing, like a generic formulaic for for sure. But I take a weird turn that I think is memorable fun, but the transition is not existent when you get to motivation, which do not get. It got a terrible ending. Because it got structured off with it. The first half of Born and Kicking Half is memorably bad, because I feel like it's been a day for me. It all time makes me think about the fact that it can give. It makes me think about that book of the thing. But not the story that much. I like Fergie, kind of. I think the game about the episode, if you're wondering. But the episode is definitely better, for sure. So something about big dog story sometimes. But yeah. Beat from the East. This book, like my head, but free. What a crazy book. It is a definition of a frog ram trip there. A kid playing a game of beat in the other world, which rule that made no can. And every time the kid thinks I'm winning, go crazy thing get brought out of nowhere. And I feel the book go memorable imagery, memorable character. And I feel the book fun, it's frustrating, and that quiet. Go memorable, go many weird moments. I think if I think the book would be more godly here if the character were a little more dynamic and a little more charm to the character. But I think I like a very memorable book from start to finish. You know, if I don't copy it, in. what a weird book. That. The book, Gunner Lock Legend. I think book go much more memorable throughout the whole thing. Go much more energy. Got better character. And I could a better villain. <laughs> no. And I have a real villain for one. The Blood Day, everyone. Mm, sometimes. Borderline. The book kind of there. Cool idea, but I got a lot of fun with it. But the Blob, like a very gross, memorable villain. And it'll come fun stuff. You know, twist, but it'll go dumb bad, I think about it. They can be off the bit, not but part of life. The character for Deacon, the one they're charming actually. Mm. Magic Camp, the story not. Yeah, nothing more than okay. It's fine, a good book can probably be. Just could have been more. I wish I found out more of the title, part of life, but the story you don't know, like too often, in fact, why I care. Cool Akadoom, head rent free, 100%. Every thing in the book is memorable. It go charming. It's a very charming book. It, Dumb, it like the paragraph on the word in the book, get kind of comfortable for that reason. But Terror and the horrible Birkin, the paragraph horrible. There's so many memorable, funny moments. It's a very funny book, a lot of funny, I think. They got a twist with that cat thing, back a lot of occasion, and I can't but think about the book constantly. It's a warm down one that I read a lot. 
the epicode really good and memory went well. You know the epicode. But I remember when I figured out the epicode a little bit more to get a funny moment and bad acting. But um, the cup can really good though. Go for fuck bitch. We can definitely flat my favorite. I look more than my actual list, dog, my ranking. Go for book of go memorable. Go enjoyable. <laughs> um God could do but definitely head me free for sure. Click echo like pretty often I would get it come big to bag. I come back with both. The first half got become it can every character annoying. The protagonist can go get pathetic, but well, could have been better. Every other character horrible, every other to react and over the top away from no vegan. But the second half it go dark and creepy and that go great villain and a definitely a memorable two twist bad one and clever, one and dumb. And it's got the second half of what's going on. It's creepy, it's weird, it contradicts the first half. It feels like two pimp people wrote with one. And it got a lot of annoying it got Jan, got the one thing that goes to your eating. And I feel the book pretty memorable for that. It doesn't get quite the heaven free. It's cool, to be honest with you, but I don't think it quite there yet. It's memorable because um, more people can like it every day. I don't think it's good, but it's not bad. Go back where I go. Back and I've cooked that door. Definitely, pretty often, not heaven free. It's really good, but I can't stay heaven free. It's because it has a dull moment. I don't like it a lot, but it's very bad. And it's a good protagonist. I like the name of Carter Danny. Where the twist go for the movie come out of the and it up good are you favorite dark then it come out of the just bad and I think about the dynamic and the peer pressure on the plot and the twist ending and the logic of the villain how they don't get and well the epicode which but bang on kill the idea. And I do think it's pretty memorable for that. Maybe it's not the well I wanna figure out a lot of the like a bunch of come over, but I feel like a pretty deep up one here. I can't wish I could put it here but I can't. Not quite in my head all the time. Girl will cry monster. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it on the of day because it switches, because it got dangerous story, but I have a lot of back and forth. But call me a memorable quote in the moment. Life and cafe I'm going through. Back in the episode as well. But the morning, a creepy villain who. You can get much of the villain. Hashtag justice for Mormon. But he's pretty memorable. Luke, a charming jerk. It got really like a lot of. It got a memorable quote in the moment. The book funny ever happened. It had a, the twist ending. Is the first type of twist the, the, of the type that Peter did. It would be repeated a lot. And I can't help but feel like it changed like how you view a character and how we attract it or anything. And I feel like that book's pretty memorable. It's not the most memorable story about twist. It might go in a couple times. And I feel like a bit twist. I think about a lot. That I can't have the rest of it. Let go. But there's also a lot of charming moments between that. I think it's a good to be pretty often to have a fucking name because I do think about it more often than some of the gone here. Personally, go back where I go. Well, Hot and Mac. Alright, you would think we can go here, but actually, no. And the reason for that, I couldn't get in like a lot. Because it's one of the only good book bag, an actual theme that it's exploring, that means everyone will talk about it. And the book itself. It broke it pretty well, it will be a good, it could cut, not much room for interpretation, unless you especially relate to it, which is not quite for me, logically. But it got a great book, Kanye Beth, We Heart, I knew even enjoyed it for a of time. Um, I feel like the book got great pro, got a good structure, got a good antagonist for the Mac, it's very creepy, got a lot of theme, got a heartwarming, the episode is fantastic. Well, great. It's definitely very memorable. Just not have it free because it can't do well. And I feel like other people do that for me. And I feel like if I don't want to don't, don't want to think about it as much as come over because it could always be equal. It. But it's a good thing we'll hear. For sure. That when I think about the Hot Mac. Hot Mac 2. Mm, basically same thing, honestly. Not, it's not good, honestly. It's alright. I think it is. I definitely feel like it's memorable because it's a different twist where he uh, got old man back dead. I think it creepy does that more than more of the epicode. And I do think the villain, the protagonist of Mario being a bully, who the villain, definitely memorable. Got a charming moment throughout it. Thinking a bit overplayed, I mean, ending kind of shoot, cover the foot, but it go dumb that memorable. 
I think about it, can you keep all that memorable moment? Yep, I'm gonna wave at her. I think the book pretty memorable. Not that good, but got a charming nostalgic element, and I feel like that helped it a lot. The heart of cool, I drifted her view for one, licked my head at free, a gone the mountain rush more, I don't mention, I drifted, I just talked about a lot, up where, you know, can people go, definitely, I just, it got quite a nostalgic book for me, it was about a lot of war moments, you know, people will, maybe about Dowdra, maybe it wouldn't, but I think Dowdra affect all of you, I think we can come up stronger, nostalgic one, go back why. Go a lot. The gray world and how it operates, how family operates into it, the theme of occasion. You know, I can think of famous idea for chronically. And I like how horror town like bam on the board. And I catch a memorable crazy book that I count to think about it all the time. And the definition of a book that go here for me personally. Vic Google Aqua probably the one that I'm like I don't even put the free that big aqua I think the most out of what we covered so far. The Hemic Go. Uh I'm not sure about one book all right. Mm, upper up time. I think the book the structure is not the strongest. And I do think the character could have been stronger, but it got a lot of creepy ghost story. It's basically about Kate reporting a how that lot of ghost story within it. And a lot of story is very memorable, creepy, and dark. There are images that will stick with you. But the story itself, you'll probably forget who the characters are and why they're doing this, but you'll remember a ghost story. A lot. Cause I think the ghost story got fairly memorable. And I think about the book in that context, but not. They like it deeply because it's good. I like the book actually, but I don't quite think it into a hugely memorable one. Got a deeply memorable twist ending. I feel it came out of the uppercut to think about the game. Go. Uh, if I ever do one for the few shows, I gave the game away a lot, but I don't care. But yeah, that's what I think. Can't judge him. Mm. Pretty often, I feel the book got board count moment. And it definitely more like a book I changed my opinion on. I vomit forth on how much I feel about it. Maybe I'll review it to explain that. But I think it got a charming moment. It got a cult vibe to it. It got one theme of all the big ball. I think pretty creepy and memorable. It got a crazy for that twist in the villain. And how they're like, dead. And I think the ending note, cute. It got an interesting vibe of a port camp and a cult. It very vibe catch the story. Pretty memorable. Not one I'm in love with. I think it comes close to Henry Free because of that, but I think I can still moment. Because I don't think about the catch too often. You never think it. Go backward, but boy, for me. Good night. The Penguin Day, another one. The category was made for. The book kind of standard and dull, but it got a creepy vibe to it. Stanley. Oh, my man, Stanley. He's so memorable, because he's weird. He can apply to be like the animal, which is a whole can of worms, but he can a very memorable, funny thing. And he got an interesting motivation, and I feel like he can't come pathetic to fight what he does, and he's not a true villain. He's kind of more complicated. Welcome to you, Wolf. And then the episode is great. The actor, Michael Copeland, does got a good job. Yeah, the book called for Cav Men is not that memorable, but Stanley is so memorable. Back why? I'm telling this book, I think about a lot because of him, but if I had to think about a right back, I'm like, this is fair for me. But oh yeah. What are you gonna put it Werewolf of Funeral Club. I really want to put this here to be honest, but I can't. Because this book is forgettable. I'm surprised there are people who are attached to this book, to be honest with you. Becoming great. And I do think. It can brought up a lot because it became put into that luck economy group bump. And I think people remember that for that, not because what happened. Because it, I think a story, it's fine. It's not bad by any means, but not great by any means either. Good at fairly. But yeah, it's probably kind of sloppy. It's not super wacky. It's dark, but not the strongest dark story. It's just fair. Like a fine book that has enough to get you going, but not much to make you only think about it or come back to it to be honest with you. Well, like maybe you're free. <laughs> I can see it there, but not much I got it on. The epic got pretty good. Maybe not. Maybe that, that little memorable thing in a gift them. Go. I feel like if the book won't get like a con, it would. The cover for Gold Peach appeared, but that's it. For the book, anyway. 
Bush Womp, if we won't get an electron, man, I put we can get the, like, yep, there, fine, that's all I have to get. Barely can come back, it'll burn that line, but, you know, bleh, I think, yeah, I wish I could put higher, it's doing vampire book, and it got, it can conk up with the vampire breath, but, I could count to book fun. It got a pretty memorable moment. I actually I go there. The book got a pretty memorable moment that I think about a lot because of the damage and the character and the ending. But I just can't find the book to be a little bit good but a bit dull with them running on a cackle and compared for a lot point with but it got me yeah, no. It's not like they're a hugely great and memorable to be honest with you. It's not like the kick I like but I don't think about them a lot. Can go for a twist. I think come time to give it a twist. Yeah, I feel like if the highlight was a bit more memorable. They're cool on the only vampire book. Where what kind of cat mirror? You know it, you know it. Like my head and free. I love it. I think about it constantly and more it's my favorite book. It is more metadic, a lot of memorable moment. I think I like the book. Dadrick. Great twist that have got me implication, got the best protagonist and all of it. <laughs> Maybe it's like a good bump, but it got it charming, it's mirror, it's fun, it's scary, it's proper looking, and everything. And that is why they can be head free. Uh, cool clock, uh, welcome to Dead Out. Pretty often, um, really, we can't get a book one. I think the book came in later, or for Gary didn't last long. And I read the one, I don't think out by a lot. think it's a little dull and good, pretty good. But a little dull, but it go feeling creepy. It got at time with the protagonist having to move. It got a memorable character like Cop and Dog. It got gore, it darker. It got 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 interesting backstory and theme that George Romero tried to do with that grip. George Romero was supposed to make a movie out of it, and he really got to the deeper theme of the book about Under Garfield. Go, I think, and it could be for book for book. But a lot of stuff, Scoop Bump Doug will get up here. You can see how he got from that to other book, and that's why. On a code, maybe it would become time, but we, that, I think about the implication of the book a lot. And how going forward, it can days go, I feel like that word go. Pretty good at the cover well. Uh, wish we got a okay, big well, but oh well. Where will get? Pretty often, the rubber bomb that died with the book went right charming, got a good protagonist who doesn't take shit from anyone, some cool villain, a great concept that plays around the idea of like addiction in a creepy way, kind of like looked unlikable, it got good skin, good horror, good painting, it's one of the most rock solid books you can find, I'm not in love with it, but it's pretty memorable, it's got an interesting idea I think about, maybe a good bit of being rock dying to it, then maybe it Orally, but I can't believe that book would look much right. I can't believe like it. What I think about because of the intricate got the world getting intricate together. And I think that will help a lot. Both of twist ending. Which I'm dark and go. I feel like borderline, but that worked out. Well, I'm afraid of being big of a heaven free. It's more than a little red book because it's fun, but it got go fly. Probably the weakest book on that. No, that guy monster. No, that or beef and the ink that will be get the one on here. That little free egg monster beat and they're called the free I think are just fine objectively, but they are go memorable, fun. Go much but Larry and Gary I'm sorry. Gary Gary he could be he go pathetic. <laughs> I like them and they're gonna be memorable because we're gonna pulling beat stuff that happened. Um, during a dark, bad moment, when you think about it, got a fun, memorable twist, a lot of memorable moments, nothing but make any kind of when you think about the evocation of the got up and how he quit buying will be. It's a comedy memorable little moment. I feel like the time to bump up a bit, but even without it, I think the book is unique with the catalog being a wacky guy if I agree about the humor of a man, kinda. <laughs> and come deeper in and just a little moment, took a few moments that I think about a lot because we're just thick line moment. What they imply that it's really interesting to me, and that's why I come out one quite a bit. Go head rent free. And then, uh, I like book. And finally, and last, but maybe at least, you can't get me. Um. Oh. 
Pang of the day, and then it goes with book, it is not a supernatural rape book. It is about the kid trying to get her the girl who is uncarable for whatever reason they want to get her. It's that way it is. But the very well because it is not supernatural based until the end. And I like the idea of it being more of a comedy editor. It's just kind of glow and boring, but not funny. But it got one really memorable review by him, Courtney King. Help a lot. Without it, it probably be in the come time because it's more memorable for what it gets for what it is. The guy go cool ending. Courtney King is go to a memorable kind of alphabet, basically. Not quite, she's not a bitch, but she's a queen and they hate her because they ain't her. They're just hater. Damn it. And she go in the episode. I really like the episode and that come Courtney King, I'm played by Charcoal and Go great, and she's coming fun. The upper book she wanted, she's throwing being the book at be throwing, be throwing, be throwing. And I be throwing, am I right? And go one memorable character, one really memorable moment in the book that got a memorable idea, but a mid story. Go back where I think I'm playing it, depending on the day because of the moment. And that, again, that how much I think about every book. That a good hour then I thought the book would get 30 minutes. I'm sorry. I think I get my pee on all these books, though. And give it quality. Um, yeah. Good book of a memorable theory. It's just a good book of a memorable letter. And they could definitely check how I view it. They could depend on the perk. I know it could be who maybe you think about fear of a lot. Barely think about calling a creep because of maybe they haven't read them that much. Maybe they have got nostalgia. Maybe they don't like them. And if you don't like coughing, you're just kind of inclined to not want to think about it. Don't think about it. I, I don't think about it. <laughs> but think of why I feel. Think of how I feel about the book and why they are memorable to me. Well, you can. They're going back where I need to kind of work. Like, come time. They're going to book back. Back to the are fairly good. That's all I want to think about come time. But come on, pretty often time. You're definitely pretty often that when they hold it, I can watch the blood and jelly jam. So I can't think of writing call it multi gay, but a handful of show at line because it's a comic very good sometimes. I think that gives me an idea of what I really think of book for a good critical book. I think go much and I come back to a lot. You know, critically I could be mine like a bet, like beat for the Go if you want to think about how will that critical conjective fair, purely conjective, that you get. Like, well like a bit of that. Of a special you read, come go memorable. But I think that about wrapped it up. I'm hoping to do maybe more tier video rankings by weird category. Good book, book right by, um, uh, how much of a live cover is it? Oh, oh, that definitely wanted to do. Back a document. I will document Google Doc for the community by rank so many things. And maybe I make video for all of them. I do want to do one for a TV show. Go stay tuned. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. For that, like, not like wrong. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up here. Yeah, bet an hour would be my favorite upload. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And you can get peek into my mind to me. Wow, how I think about why I think about me book the way that I do, and hopefully I'll review a lot of it to give a deeper idea of who I rank. So goodbye. Uh, wait, have a Gary day.